Well, ancient artifacts of the indigenous Arawak Lucayans on display in the Senate today for students, visitors, and officials to view. Several officials bringing remarks in Ralston Square, which also included a live demonstration and performance from the Royal Bahamas Police Force Marching Band, Royal Bahamas Defense Force Marching Band, and Rangers. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis welcoming the return of the remains to its rightful place here in the Bahamas while celebrating the Lucayans, who he says were victims of colonial interference. Yeah, for hundreds of years, thriving, celebrating, and burying their loved ones with reverence in the caves of these islands. Yet, they were also the first to suffer the devastation brought by colonial encounters. While DNA studies show no biological link between them and the present-day Bahamians, their spirit and influence echo through our culture, guiding us in ways that transcend more than lineage. <laughs> Now, the artifacts arrived here in the capital yesterday. Among them, different parts of human skeletal remains that are said to have been preserved for hundreds of years. People lined this return. This return was made possible through the 1990 Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act, a law that mandates in the United States institutions to return remains and sacred artifacts to their communities whenever and wherever possible. Thanks to the collaboration between Michigan State University's Arts and Collections Department and our own Antiquities, Monuments, and Museums Corporation, we mark a historic first for the Bahamas, the return of ancestral remains from an international institution. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Satanas.